Hey everybody, Dr. Rob here, Facebook Live. Do me a favor, great information. Share this with your doctor friends. Share this with your friends. Please press punch, punch, share. Sorry about that. Punch, share, share this. Because when I give you information on NSAIDs, this is something that is very, very important to all people. Because everybody's taking an NSAID. Everybody, including myself. It's there every day. It's on the shelves. So please share this information. Press like. Non-steroid anti-inflammatories. NSATs, Aleve, Advil, Ibuprofen, Aspirin. Tylenol is not an NSAT. It's a pain and fever. Tylenol is a separate thing we'll get to at the end. Non-steroid anti-inflammatories. Most people don't understand this one thing. They don't provide healing. Patients and people think when you take an NSAT because it masks healing. It, uh, it masks pain. It provides healing. That is not correct. It does mask pain, but it doesn't allow for healing. Non-steroid anti-inflammatories do decrease pain, but impair healing. Got John and everybody in the back of the room like, really? <laughs> and, and that's just where we are. That is correct. As a doctor, 9 out of 10 patients do not know that. Understand that. You're not providing healing. You are decreasing pain. Pain and healing, when you decrease pain, that's when healing just begins to start. And that's a decision point on the kind of treatment and what you need to do. So NSAIDs do not allow for healing. They do not allow for joint cartilage synthesis, meaning they don't allow cartilage to heal. They don't allow for muscle hypertrophy, muscle to grow back. They don't allow for bone damage or bone fractures to heal. And here's the big takeaway. They cause leaky gut, which we're going to get to. So within that soft tissue, muscle, and bone, they don't allow any healing. So think of this. Someone comes in and their shoulder hurts. Their back hurts a little. They get a little wearing away of their cartilage. They're on the road to arthritis because arthritis is the body's response to inflammation. People don't feel the pain. And what happens? Well, they don't feel the pain. They continue to move. And the drugs, the NSAIDs, wear away the cartilage. doesn't allow it to heal. It is the cycle of perpetuation of breaking the joint, the soft tissue, bone, everything down. So people take NSAIDs, like for instance, a lot of women take it because they have cramps. I have people who want to play golf, take six or eight at Aleve and Advil, four. And they go, yeah, my back doesn't hurt. Now I'm going to twist. So they don't feel it. And boy, oh boy, that next day they come in, it's unbelievable. People say, I have a headache all day, all long, all month. And they're taking NSAIDs. NSAIDs do not provide healing, but they do provide leaky gut. Now, as you know, I've done a lot of gut. Facebook lives in the last week, week and a half. Got a lot of feedback. Remember, the gut's so important because 70% of your immune cells are in your gut, and it also allows for nutrient absorption. Leaky gut. By providing leaky gut, a, perme a excess permeability in your gut, it leads to autoimmune diseases. It leads to systemic inflammation. Not only that, taking enough NSAIDs ultimately could lead to musculoskeletal, neuromusculoskeletal failure doesn't allow for something really interesting methylation for another day. It doesn't allow you for to actually enable you to absorb B vitamins. So non-steroid anti-inflammatories, which are so easy to get, they're everywhere. No prescription. 15-year-old kids last day in the drugstore, I saw them buying it because they ate a little bit. It's a major, major problem. We have to stop people from using NSAIDs so prophylactically, so easily, so all the time. So I travel all the time. I give you a great example. So I'll come at 11, 12 o'clock at night in a hotel. Hey, Dr. Silverman, how are you? How was your trip? Great. How are you feeling? I have a headache, which I don't. I'll say to the person there, I have a headache. They don't give me an official oil. They don't give me an SPM. They don't give me a probiotic. They don't give me a green drink, pulp or no pulp. They say, oh, would you like an aspirin? Would you like an Aleve? Would you like an Advil? What is wrong with that picture after sharing this information with you? We have to change our American mantra mindset. Treat the system, not the symptom. So to speak a little bit more, what do you do? What are your options? Well, there's a lot of nutraceuticals that work really well. Turmeric, curcumin being the most bioavailable or biggest ingredient in curcumin. Ginger, quercetin. All those come together and make a great pseudo-anti-inflammatory pathway because nutraceuticals decrease pain,
but promote healing. Calcium and magnesium in a proper ratio, magnesium to calcium for muscle spasm in appropriate ratio of two to one is great obviously to decrease muscle spasms. Proteolytic enzymes, trypsin, chymal trypsin and bromelain, great for swelling. Fish oils, EPA and DHA, great for decreasing inflammation and helping cell membrane health. Probiotics, keep your stomach, keep it very pristine and unique, keeping the good bacteria in there. Another great choice, and what better than specialized pro-resolving mediators? The bottom of the pathway to enable resolution of inflammation and a homostasis between pro-inflammation and resolution of inflammation. So, one quick aside, Tylenol, pain and fever, 20% of people going in with liver issues to the emergency room are because they consumed Tylenol. Jacks up your liver enzymes. So be careful of Tylenol. Remember, Tylenol is a pain and uh, fever uh, modulator. So my takeaway is non-steroid anti-inflammatories do decrease pain, but they impair healing. Nutraceuticals decrease pain, but promote healing. Anybody who's interested in having some natural pain relievers with no side effects, Please call me and we can go over the protocol as an answer, whether it's a headache or joint pain. Call me, 914-287-6464. Everybody's got the Facebook now. Please, any issues, feel free to contact me. Let's get off this drug. Let's start going to health care. Let's get off silk care. Remember, no more NSAIDs, nutraceuticals. Dr. Rob Silverman, always yours in health. You got some questions? Question. Um, most people take NSAIDs at the point of pain. Uh, mm -hmm. With the nutraceuticals, should they be taking them consistently or what's your recommendation? Great question. So my answer to that is I'm a big proponent of keeping inflammation limited, so I have no problem taking it all the time. However, you can still take it at the point of pain. It's a great option. Remember, no side effects. However, if the pain is so much and you did take a nutraceutical, excuse me, took an NSAID, stick the nutraceuticals in there and stop the NSAIDs as the nutraceuticals will take over and bring, bring down pain and inflammation. Provide healing also. Provide healing. Great. That's it. That's it. It's a pleasure. Hope to see you soon. Ask some questions next week. Guys, we're going to be talking about blood labs, the type of things that you should go over with your doctor, the type of things that your doctor should be testing you for. So, once again, Dr. Rob, always yours in health. Hope to see you soon.